This is K Black Boxing. I'm here with another video. Just a post fight for Wilder versus Washington. When I made when I uh, made my prediction, I said this fight wouldn't go past six rounds. You know, um, I was saying the inexperienced fact of Washington fighting an inexperienced fighter like uh, Wilder. You know, I say he wouldn't be able to make it to the he wouldn't make it past the first half of the fight. And uh, you know that's that's what happened. He uh, got knocked. Washington got knocked out by Wilder in the fifth round. Uh, when I initially, you know, watched it, I watched the fight a couple of times. When when I initially watched it, I kind of thought the referee kind of stopped the fight prematurely. But you know, uh, when you're excited and you know filled with emotion, you want to go, oh man, you know, like man, let him go out in his shield. But you got to start thinking about it, man. The referee is there to do a job, and evidently he seen something in Washington. Once he got knocked down and got back up, and Deontay Wilder jumped on him, he seen something that's like, you know, let me go and stop this fight. Because uh, we have we have seen, we all have seen fighters um, get uh, basically the piss beat out of them, and the referee don't jump in in time. So, so you know... Um, it was, you know, but what I got to want to say about Washington, man, he, he he put up a valid performance, man, you know. Uh, he was in a fight the whole fight until he got knocked down and eventually got knocked out. He was in a fight, man. He was jabbing, going to the body, man. He didn't let um, a wilder experience uh, get the best of him and none of that. And none of that. He was in there to fight, man. He was in there to try to win and at least give himself the best opportunity to win. So I know this is his first loss, man. Hopefully he bounced back, don't let this discourage him, and, uh, you know, get back to the uh, winning side eventually. Deontay Wilder, man, seen as if his right hand is still there, man. He hit him with a a jab, right straight, and he hit, hit him with, like, a, you know, right hook to knock him down. And then, you know, once once Washington got back up, you know, Deontay Wilder jumped on him, and it was all she wrote. Man, Wilder called out Joseph Parker, and hopefully once Parker, uh, him and Fury do his do their thing and fight uh, this year. Hopefully the winner, if it's Parker, he do fight uh, Deontay Wilder, man, and put that WBO strap up with that WBC strap, man. That'd be a good fight. You got two young champions that's undefeated. Um, going at it, man. You already got Joshua and Klitschko going at it. You know, Joshua putting up his belt, the IBF belt, and uh, the WBA, WBA belt would be up for grabs as well. Um, it's a vacant title, but it would be up, which would be good, man. So the unification between Klitschko and Joshua is already on tap for this year. And if Parker get past Fury and... Um, his team talked to Deontay Wilder's team when they unify WBO and uh, WBC, man. We're going to have a good, good boxing schedule for the remainder of the year. You know, of course, everything got to link up. And, you know, all the I's got to be dotted. All the T's got to be crossed. But these guys got to want to fight each other. And evidently they do because Parker already said he, wanted, he had interest in fighting Wilder. And Wilder got an interest in fighting Parker as well. So... Let's just make it happen. Let's just make it happen, man, so we can have an uh, undisputed heavyweight champion, man. And that'll be phenomenal. And at the end of the year, whoever win all these fights, they can fight each other at the end of the year. If not the end of this year, definitely begin in 2018. By 2018, if everything is okay, cause I know, I know there's a lot of different players in the heavyweight division now, man. You won't... Um, but it should be no problem having an undisputed heavyweight champion by the end of this year or the beginning of uh, next year, man. And one thing I'm going to say about these heavyweights these days, the day of the 5'11", 5'10", 6'1", 210-pound heavyweight, those days are over, man. All these guys, you know, whether it's Wilder, Dominique Brazil, um, Ortiz, Parker, Joshua, Klitschko, 
and the list goes on. All these guys are 6'4", 6'5", 6'6", 6'7". You know, uh, man, 230, 240, 250, 260, you know, sub 270 pounds. These guys are big, man. You know, so those little bitty guys, you know, Wilder, I think he's like, what, 220? But he's tall, he's still 6'7". All those little bitty guys, man. Just fight the cruise away, man, because you ain't gonna have nothing coming to going against these big dudes, man. Cause they coming there, you know, they coming for 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 blood, man. They truly is. You know, one thing I'm gonna say about Deontay Wilder too, man. You say what you want about the kid, and I don't mean, you know, I'm gonna call him a kid like that. But say what you want to say about the WBC heavyweight uh, champion, the only, you know, United States heavyweight champion. This dude picked up this sport at a later age, man. At a late age. And every day, every time he get in the ring, he really is just, he he's working on a job, man. He getting experience, truly getting experience on a job. But starting at a late age, instead of going to the Olympics, instead of winning a bronze medalist, um, winning, a, well, winning a bronze medal, bronze medal, uh, rather, and still, um, you know, remaining undefe- undefeated and close nearly 40 fights now. You know, and a champion on top of that. Now you gotta you gotta get that man re, uh, respect and props, man. Because how many guys you know that can start as a late team and still manage to go to the Olympics? You know, this guy's been in fights since they six, seven years old. And didn't make the Olympics. Didn't even make an alternate. You know, not even champions, man. They came to the they you know had hundreds of amateur wins and. Didn't make the Olympics, come become pro, and don't do nothing. This man started late, went to Olympics, won bronze, you know, and like I said, he he's nearly forty fight in and still undefeated, and he's a champion, man. You gotta get a brother his props, you know. If you don't, you're just a flat out hater, you know, man, because he do everything. He's charismatic. He got the knockout on me, thirty eight wins, thirty seven knock. I mean, come on, dude. You can't, you can't, you can't get no better than that. You know, everybody, all these boxers, uh, fans, quote unquote, want the knockout. Hey, every time Deontay Wilder's out there, he produced a knockout. Yes, last night he produced a knockout. The only fighter that, the only one fighter that went the distance with him. So, Deontay Wilder has has a a lot of upside, man. And I'm gonna make another video. Talking about the heavyweight landscape at another time. But I'm signing out. This is K Black Boxing. Like, comment, and subscribe.